Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am coming at you with a very overdue update on my Roboroski males, Pinky and Brain. So there's a couple of points I just want to say. Apologies for the light. I've been meaning to film this video for a while. It's got dark outside and I just thought I'll get it done. Secondly, if I look down a bit, it's because I've got a list of points that I want to get through on the video. So first off, I want to say it's been six months since my last video, maybe seven. Boys are still separated. They have not been put back in the same enclosure. That would be a very, very dumb thing to do on my side. I don't want to do that. So first thing I think we'll touch on is their eating, their food, their drink, their water, um, that kind of thing. Their water intake is still good. They're drinking about half a bottle in a week to a week and a half. They're eating, they're eating the state about the same really. Pinky is still a pig. Brain doesn't eat a lot. Uh, Pinky will get his food topped up every week. He'll probably eat um, one of the small, just under a teaspoon of food. He'll eat that in a week. So he normally gets two teaspoons of food plus his extra cheese seeds and his extra mealworms. Brain will not get that topped up. He'll he'll not eat. He'll eat about a teaspoon in two weeks. So he won't get that topped up, but if I notice he hasn't eaten all his mealworms or his cheese seeds, I'll sprinkle a few more cheese seeds in there and I give him a few more mealworms because they are good for them. So food side hasn't changed much. They both still enjoy their treats, their um, their nuts. I've actually found out Brain has now, I found, got a real enjoy enjoyment towards uh cashew nuts so he really enjoys them now but they're both still eating their treats they're both still you know their pea flakes their peanuts their sunflower seeds sweet corn and any veggies that i give them they still really enjoy them they love love cheese cheese again was nuggets favorite it's one of the boys favorites as well so they're always getting cheese just sort of normal small um cheddar cheese i don't give them any flavored cheese or anything that's too strong if i do give them extra mature they get less of it so i balance that out i don't want to give them anything that's going to hurt their tummies so next point i'll go on to is aggression and cage behavior so when i did my last update or maybe the one before that i said there was a lot of aggression in the cage these two were fighting and they were not getting a lot brain got injured but it healed very quickly he didn't need to go to the vets it was just a small two small little bites on his bum that healed up pretty well couldn't eat couldn't even see them after i think about a week of me noticing that they were there they had healed up perfectly but i don't think that was aggression on pinky side i think it was uh, a retaliation and i say that because i've monitored what they're doing i've tried to hand tame them and roboroski traits they are very very hard to hand train and to be honest i don't want to be able to hand train them too much i just want them to accept me and let me handle them to the minimum which i'll start with Bre uh, pinky he now will get in his ball at cleaning or I can move him from like a tipped up hide from his cage to his holding in, uh, his holding cage, depending on which which method I decide to do when I'm cleaning. He'll either run around in a ball or he will be in a holding cage. But he will accept that. He will get into his ball or he'll get into his get into a hide, and I can move him to a holding enclosure, um, which is great. And he will take food out my hand, which is great he doesn't bite at all he does not bite me he nips me by accident when i'm giving him treats and i say by accident because as soon as he does it he jumps off he backs off and he waits for me to because i obviously lift my hand out because i don't want him biting me but he's never done that he'll wait for me then to put my hand sort of lower down so it's easier for him to get the treat and yeah he he is now I can now hand feed him he's i'd say he's 50 percent trained he doesn't want to be i can pet him as well which is good 
um and i can like i say i can hand feed him but as for picking him up and taking him out the cage snuggles that kind of thing that's not something i want to do with dwarf hamsters anyway so i'm fine with him not doing that but brain this is why i think brain was the aggressor because he is still aggressive towards me he will not just nip me he will bite me and he will hold on he's drawn blood two or three times when i've been trying to hand feed him but he will draw blood he literally lashes onto my finger or he'll go for the side of my hand or anything like that he will take the treats out of my hand but he'll always try to bite me first um and when i need to take him from his cage to the holding cage or into the ball it's very much a game of cat and mouse i have to because he will run around his cage like a lunatic i have to try to corner him and scoop him into the ball using the ball and my hand and have to kind of push him into it or if i want to put him into holding closure i've got to make sure i've got a big enough hide that he can't climb over the edge so i tend to scoop him into his ball and then put him into the holding enclosure if that's what i choose to do um just because he can't climb out the side of a ball it's it's round he's never going to get out the top so that's becoming an issue um because his health is declining and i'll explain that in a minute but it's i like i say he's very very dominant he's very cage aggressive he's very mean he's a very mean hamster and that's why i say the bite marks that happened to him was pinky's retaliation because i believe that although brain was the one with the injuries he was actually the aggressor that was starting the fights just because of his overall behavior now i could be very wrong and pinky was a complete butthead <laughs> um but now he's on his own he's calmed down that's obviously a good possibility as well um their overall behavior and health is is good um obviously i said brain's got some issues and i will get to that but i want to go over what they like to do now because like i say it's been six months and their behavior has changed so much so brain uh pinky he loves to climb he's very active with me you'd see i've got him down here i can sort of look over sort of look into his cage and he will on this side here he'll push himself up against the side and be like hello i'm here kind of thing and he wants to play he wants to sort of mess around a little bit and i've noticed he's a big den builder he likes to build dens he has his greenhouse which they both always have their own houses that don't get taken out they don't get cleaned unless they're really messy obviously i changed the bedding but the house itself i don't scrub down he's got his blue one no he's got a green one brain's got a blue one so he's always got his greenhouse and a second hide but he doesn't nest in them a lot he likes to build dens and he'll dig holes under the substrate or if i put um hay in there he'll bury himself under the hay and at the moment he's got a climbing frame and although it's got a hole in the top and a hole at the side and it can't be that warm he's dragged all of his bedding from one of his houses over there and he's dug a hole right into the corner of the cage where his climb frame is and that's where he's nesting <laughs> i think i've got a photo of it i will obviously insert a bunch of new photos at the end of this video but he he very much is a he's got a lot of wild traits i've noticed he'll den build he'll store his food he'll he has a very pacific pea corner that's another thing i've noticed he's pea trained he's not poo trained there's poop all over the cage normally in a bed or one of his hides but he's pea trained he'll pee where his wheel is he'll go under the wheel and he'll pee right in the very corner and it doesn't matter what corner or what place i put the wheel even if i put the wheel against the side of the cage but in the middle he'll still go behind the wheel and he'll still pee so that's really good come sort of spot cleaning because i can just clean out the wet patch or clean out his pee patch 
and he's got a lot of wild traits like i said he's but he's not aggressive he's he's got his he's got his ways of doing things he hides his food he he builds dens he's very playful he's he loves he loves loves when i give him treats he will i can get him to stand up on his back legs and he like goes wee he does his little trick and that's good um brain i haven't been able to notice a lot of his behaviors i do notice that he loves cashew nuts and um he likes his tubes he will still sit in his tube a lot we've still got i don't know if you can quite see that but there is a tube on the corner he loves his tube still but like I say, he's very cage aggressive towards me a lot of the time or he's very skittish. So I don't get to watch him a lot. But what I have noticed is his wheel is still his favourite thing. He will run on his wheel for at least an hour, if not longer. Every single night you'll hear his... It's not like a squeaky, but you can hear it kind of like turning. And he's on that every single night. He loves to run. He's a very not as active but he's a very active hamster and it's not just at night i've noticed he is not a sort of dawn and dusk awaker like most hamsters he's a whenever he wants to get up really he's up during the day he's up during the night he sleeps during the day he sleeps during the night and he has no real pattern whereas he's up for a couple of hours in the morning a couple of hours at night that's it but I haven't been able to work out anything that he likes to do apart from run on his wheel. Maybe that is all he likes to do and hide. But I think it's just the hamster, type of hamster he is. Their activity has declined. They're not out as much as they used to be. Um, they do sleep a lot more and they're sleeping a lot longer they're not as active as they used to be but they're coming up to about 18 months old now maybe 16 months old so they are senior hamsters they're not they're not going to be awake a lot they're not going to in oh, they're not going to be doing much so that's just with them and now i'll go on to brains health like i said it's it's declined but it's not declined at the same time and you'll understand why in here so i'll say pinky hasn't lost weight his hair's great he's you know his um his hair's nice and shiny he's soft and i think like that brain is the complete opposite his he's very it's not skinny to the point i'm worried because he hasn't he's cut down what he eats but it's not majorly but he is slimming brain's kind of got a body shape where it goes straight and then out he's got like a bit of a curvy bum brain is very straight which he's always been straight but i just notice it's a bit more sort of um slimmer and his back legs are very prominent whereas pinky he's kind of got a butt that goes over his back legs brain's kind of They've always done kind of a sticky out thing when he's sitting there. But he's got some hair loss on his bum. And what I want to say, if you've watched my updates on Nuggets, his hair loss is in no way related to Chicken's Nuggets hair loss. It's not the same thing at all. <coughs> Sorry, guys. He's... Hair loss is not related to Chicken Nuggets in any way because her hair started growing back. And I think that was just an issue with her peeing in her cage. So please don't go in the comments and say there's something wrong with the way I'm looking after my hamsters. Because if one's hair loss, the other has. But as I say, he I will put a picture in the end as well of his hair loss. He had a... So if I start from the beginning, he had... Um... He's always had one little spot on his bum that was a little less sort of fluffy than the rest because of the bites he had, the injury he had. It was healed, but his hair never fully grew back. And I noticed that area was kind of getting a little bit bigger. So I've kept an eye on him and 
it all seemed fine until I got him out about two weeks ago I was cleaning out just doing sort of spot caging his you know I thought I see a bit of hair loss in his rear end and like I said he's an aggressive hamster I couldn't really sort of keep him still for long enough to check so I trapped him or not trapped him that's the wrong word to use um I waited till he was in his wheel and I turned it up right so he couldn't quite get out and I'm having a look at him and I can see these few marks on it well not marks but I can see these few bald patches on his back and I noticed well that's that wasn't there a week ago when I cleaned him out or not that I noticed it was there a week ago because I always try to give him an overall visual sort of health check to see if there is anything wrong with him and I was like well I can't remember that being there a week ago so I took a couple of well, I managed to get him I think in the end he ended up sitting in his food bar and I managed to get a couple of pictures of it so I could monitor it and then four days later five days later I noticed now he's got kind of a a mark a bald patch on the side a little bit underneath and then he's got another one on the um on the other side of his bum and it's kind of two patches and a line well now it's kind of two lines on his back and that happened over sort of five days and it doesn't bother him so i'm not 100 percent sure yet if we're going to take him to the vets because i've watched him as much as i could and there's no movement on these bald patches so it's not anything like mites or any kind of parasite on him um he's still eating he's still drinking so that hasn't changed and his activity still hasn't changed too much apart from with his age so i'm not too sure we're going to take him to the vets but his hair loss is definitely getting a bit more severe and that could just be age related you know nuggets was i think a mixture of her um peeing in her bed a lot more she used she didn't used to do that but towards the end she was peeing in her bed a lot more so i think that was um moisture related because once i started changing her bed in every couple of days that got better until she passed away but frames i don't know what it's i haven't found anything that it could be con contributed to yet his bedding is still um dry it's not overly smelly so i know he's not peeing in there a lot he actually tends to pee in the tubes which is really annoying <laughs> he tends to pee in his tubes or on his level so i know he's not sleeping in his own urine so i know that's not an issue he hasn't had anything that I know that's different with his food he's actually it's not even like a new bag of food it's still the exact same tub of food it's the mealworms are the same his treats are the same everything has been consistently the same two minutes guys right we're back sorry about that I've got a bit of a cold coming on and I had to sneeze so what was we saying yeah brain hasn't had anything different to pinky and nothing's new that's why i'm i'm very confused on what it could be because brain uh pinky is so healthy his coat is lovely thick and white and he's soft and he's a perfect hamster health wise so i'm a bit confused if it doesn't improve within four weeks or if i notice it gets worse within the next week i will be taking him to the vets but now at this point i'm not taking him to the vets because i don't think there's anything they can tell me that i can't figure out myself it's not an allergic reaction to his treats it's not an allergic reaction to his bedding it's not an allergic reaction to the sawdust um or the wood chippings or the hay that i use for his substrate and he's not got any kind of um like he's not urinating more and his poos are he's got no wet end so it's not sort of that he's got wet tail and the back end of him is wet because his poos are the same he's doing the same amount from what i can work out and they're still little tiny hard 
specs they're not any bigger or any smaller or any softer than what they usually would be so I'm very confused and I'm just at the moment putting it down to old age so maybe he gets better maybe he don't and this is the end for him but we'll keep an eye on him and he's, he's a senior hamster so I know hair loss in senior hamsters is relatively normal so yeah so that's all I've got for now, for now guys obviously I will be putting photos in at the end so you can see them now I've got some recent photos and I will put a picture in of Brain's hair loss so you can see it as well but that's it for now guys and I'll catch you on the next one bye now